Now we're going to find the area of the shaded region. When I first look at my picture, the first thing I need to do is ask myself, what two shapes do I see? In this particular picture, I see a rectangle and a half of a circle. Remember that to find the area of the shaded region, you need to take the area of the whole shape, or the larger shape, and subtract the area of the smaller shape, and that will give you the area of the shaded region. When I look at this picture, I need to think about what information I'm given. The 8 meters that appears on the right side of the picture also correlates to the left side of the picture. That means that my diameter of my circle is 8 meters, so my radius is 4 meters. To deal with a rectangle, the area is equal to the base times the height, and the dimensions of my rectangle were 20 by 8. 20 times 8 is 160, with a label of meters squared, because it's area. For half of a circle, <clears throat> I'm going to take the area formula, which is pi r squared, and take half of it. So it's half pi r squared. Again, I figured out that my radius is really 4. 4 squared is 16. Half of 16 is 8. So the area of that half of a circle is 8 pi meters squared in simplest pi form. The last thing I need to do is to subtract those two values. But the question is, are those two values able to be subtracted? No, of course not. The first one does not have a pi, and the second one does. So I just write those two things inside a set of parentheses, 160 minus 8 pi, with my label of meters squared outside. And now I have an exact answer for the area of the shaded region.